Brian, first of all, great to have you back here in, in Finland. It's a it's a big time for Finland, hockey-wise. Uh, first Olympic gold. You watched the game yesterday. Just uh, talk about a little, little bit about your your emotions and thoughts during during the game. Yeah, I was really happy for them. Obviously, I know a lot of guys on that team, and something that Finland's been building for a while. I think you look back two or three years ago when they win the World Championships, and then they've had really good success since, especially with that core group of players. What they've accomplished over the last four years internationally. That's pretty special and something that uh, they'll always have the rest of their lives. Sure, it's the game. I didn't know who going to win, but uh, this is the game. So I'm congratulations, congratulations to all, all country and our guys. I'm so happy about that. They won gold medal, so I'm so proud of that. This is the game, so I respect. You can be honest, was Finland better? <laughs> <laughs> On this game, for sure, Finland's better. The, they dominate on this game, so... You actually took a walk downtown in Helsinki city center. You saw all the people celebrating. How, how was that? Yeah, it's an amazing feeling, you know. It's like everybody happy about your country, you know. It's, it's amazing. Like everybody happy and uh, like everybody proud of our, our teams, like Finland team. So it's an amazing feeling. I mean, hockey is a huge deal in Finland and having an achievement like that first time in the history of the country. That's pretty special because Finland's a pretty decorated, accomplished country on the international stage. So to be the first team to do that, that's pretty cool. Five Jokerit players on that team. How do you think that can help us in, in the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, confidence is huge in any sport, but especially hockey. So hopefully they'll be able to recover after this. I know it's been a long week, but once they do that, I think it'll only be advantageous for them. That confidence you get from a gold medal must be pretty thrilling and something that I'm sure won't just help them this year. It'll help them in uh, the rest of their careers. That goes for you as well. You had a long trip a few weeks in, in China and now a trip back to Finland. Uh, how are you preparing for, for next week? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get back. Had a little scare there with the injury, but all is well. And getting back to a normal sleep schedule, normal routine, something I'm looking forward to. I had a few days off this weekend, so looking forward to practice. And, you know, we have a week here. So I think, obviously, this is a really important week for us leading up the playoffs. And something I'm actually looking forward to, to be honest. We will practice 10 guys, but uh, have our team play games in Olympic uh, games. So they have a practice. Like, uh, game practice, so it's, I think it's not a big problem for us. Uh, we can, we're ready, always ready to play, because it's a playoff. It's different game. It's like so much fun, you know. It's like biggest game started and March first, so everybody ready and excited. A huge thing for for us as well is that we we can have a full stadium here here in Helsinki. That must be a must be great news for for the team as well. Yeah, I mean, all these restrictions the last couple of years, it's been a lot for the fans especially, so it's a warm feeling that you hear that there are going to be no restrictions for the playoffs and something we didn't get to take advantage of last year. So something that leading up to the Olympic Games was very cautious about COVID and then having the restrictions been lifted, kind of, I mean, it's just, uh, it's hard to describe something that I'm really excited about and I'm something I'm excited about for the fans. Thanks, Brian. Jokerien playoffottelut alkavat tiistaina ensimmäinen maaliskuuta. Ensimmäisen kierroksen vastustajana Spartak. Nähdään areenalla. Yksi